Hey friends! Okay, so I decided to do a video because this like crazy, crazy thing happened this weekend, as a lot of you probably know. So I got to go to the WUFTA International Championships this weekend, which was amazing, as usual. And I won the frickin' booty basket. Like, this big old basket that all of the vendors got to put stuff in, and it was worth like $1,300, and they pulled my name out of a name that a basket probably full of like a thousand names. So, yeah, totally insane. Um, I t like, even when they just said it, I totally did not believe that that's what had just happened. Like, I, the announcer's down there talking about it, and I was like, I heard them say Amanda, and I was like, no, no, it still can't be me. And they said Mears, and I was like, no, no way. This is not really happening. But the big part is that they were like, we're going to give you 10 seconds to get down here. And we were sitting, like, all the way up in the stands, and I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I, like, get up, and I start running, and I have to run, like, all the way down these ramps, all the way this – the the venue is this huge circular venue, so I have to run like all the way out and down and around all these ramps and back into the arena and around the side to get in. And I could hear them counting as I was running, and they were counting, and it was like nine, ten, and I'm like still on the ramp, and I'm like, no, 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 and I'm like running as fast as I can. And if any of you know, I'm not a runner. Like, I'm not, not a runner. So I'm running as fast as I can, and I'm like, they're gonna give it away. And I hear eleven. 12 and I'm like oh my god okay okay they're still they're still waiting for me and I like got up there and I'm like oh my god it was real and they were like pictures and then they like posted on their Instagram like a picture of me holding the basket and like tag the Keweenaw Roller Girls which is totally awesome well they didn't tag them but they put it on there so that's totally sweet that KRG got mentioned in Woofda's Instagram so awesome there um <laughs> so we had the video and stuff and I got my basket and yeah and okay so it was like such it was like this huge basket with this big plastic thing and stuff's like ready to fall out and we're like how do we even get this home but luckily the basket was full of tote bags there are so many tote bags I don't even know so I really have not yet even looked through the basket other than to load it into other separate bags so we could actually carry it back to the hotel and get it in because there was just it was too big and bulky to be able to get it back so I know some of the stuff that's in here but not really all of it and I don't well we'll see I guess what all is going in there but the first thing they did tell me as soon as I got it is that there was a nice shiny brand new S1 helmet in this like amazingly new sparkly black color which totally rocks and we the one that Sparkle and I were eyeing up at the booth beforehand and they're like it's an extra large so if you need a smaller size you need to go over there really fast because they're packing up and I was like oh all the stress on top of the stress of something amazing happening amazing how it's stressful but so I like run over there and I got the right size helmet so yeah totally have oh there's still sparkles in everything because the basket was full of sparkles which is also awesome so, totally amazing, brand new helmet that I have. So, I have two amazing S1 helmets because they're totally awesome and the best one that everyone should have anyway. So, that's the first thing in the basket. So, right now, I have all of these bags full of stuff that, like I said, haven't gone through. So, right now, here's, I have, you can kind of see, there's like four tote bags on the floor and then there's like a basket with some more stuff in it. Um, so we're going to see what's in it. Okay, so first of all, I, I think that this is another bag that's inside of a bag. It's a rather large Rydell bag. Um, I think it's one of these drawstring kind that you wear like a backpack that I see like high schoolers running around with. Except that it's gigantic and I feel like I could probably even fit like maybe a significant portion of my gear in this bag. Um, but I'm not sure I would want to because it would be really, really heavy to carry it around on these little strings on my back and it would hurt me. But pretty cool bag. So, okay, so it's bag number one. We're going to keep a bag count here because I don't know how many bags there are in the bags. What's next? Oh, here is the beautiful ribbon that was on top of the basket with some more glittery stuff. Okay, so I'll pull this basket first, actually, so we can see. So this is the basket. But the bag was like this. 
um, which most of them I got off. So the bag was covered with, they had these little stickies on everything. So I have pretty much all of the playoff um, patches from 2013, which is super sweet. Um, I haven't double checked which ones they are. I did peel them off of the basket initially so that I could make sure we didn't lose any on the way home. Um, so, because I really wanted to get a championship one because I didn't buy one last year when I was at Champs and I was like, oh, I really wanted that. And so there may or may not be one in here after I ordered one on Saturday because they didn't have them for sale at this year's thing. So I might have duplicates, but I have all of these and we'll go through as I find them in here, I guess. Um, so number one, London Roller Girl scarf, which, you know, everybody was ooing and eyeing about the first year they sold out in like an hour and everyone wanted more and then they couldn't get more and then when they could they were like seventy dollars because of import taxes um and they had them again this year which is awesome and Sparkle and I figured they probably would and had made plans that as soon as we got to the arena on Friday that we were going to go buy our London scarves so we didn't miss out on them this time and we did and then I won another one so I have two Here's the other London scarf, that one of which I purchased. Because Hooray London, they came out fourth in the world, and even though they didn't place, it's totally spectacularly amazing, and I still love them a million fold. So here is another bag, basic tote bag, Fast Girl Skates, which I think was one of the vendor booths there, which I bought stuff from before. They're pretty sweet. So two bags, two bags. Brand new gumball toe stops, which is sweet because mine are kind of getting bad anyway. So there we go. If you don't play derby and you don't know what these are, they're really cool because they're kind of big and they don't mark up the floor when you're skating on nice floors. So they're essential to roller derby toe stops. Yes. Lanyards. We got last, I believe this is the 2013 championship series playoff whatever lanyard from Wufta. It doesn't say Wufta on it or anything, but it's got all the cute skaters on it. Something else. Something inked lanyard. This one is, a, I guess, one of the sponsors that does the, I think they do all of the printing of the t-shirts and everything that um, Wufta had. More sparkles. Wufta had made for the tournaments because we talked to the guy at the booth at some point. Because we talked to all the booths, obviously. Oh, yeah, because this contest, if you also aren't a skater or aware, this contest was for visiting all of the vendors' booths. You, gotta ha you had to have them initial this little slip, and then you could, if you visited all of the booths, you could turn in the slip and go into a drawing for this giant basket that I won. So we have some red shoelaces. I don't, there's nothing on them. I don't know if they are a brand or where they are from. Um, they're not the crazy laces because I have those and they have this like stitching stuff. That's pretty cool. So, okay. I'm like looking over here because I'm digging through this basket because I don't know if there's something else down in the bottom of here or if these are just empty pieces of styrofoam so that they could have packed everything nicely into the basket. So much glitter. Okay, there are a variety of stickers from all of the different sponsors and brands and stuff just kind of hanging out here. We've got Adam, um, Derby for All, we've got pins. Okay, so a cool thing, which I just found in the bottom of the basket that I didn't know they had, is this, which I'll take it out of the bag so maybe you guys can see it. So they had like nice enamel pins made this year that were at the Wufta Merch booth, which were super sweet. And so I was like, oh, that's a cool thing. But I did not purchase one. Um, but now I have one because it was in here. So with the reflection, it's kind of hard to see. But it says something about the International Roller Derby Championships with, like, the logo for the tournament, which is really cool. Um, we've got a Bones Bearing Press. Cool. I already have one, but now I have another one. Or... Or all in all, I feel like this was a big basket full of Christmas gifts for all of my friends for the next few years. So maybe somebody will be the lucky recipient of said Bones Bearing Press. Not a press, but bearing tool puller. There are chocolates. This one is small ones. They, somewhere in these bags, there are the, they had these like limited edition 
chocolate bars that had like the Woofta logo, which is super sweet, but there's like some little ones in here. These ones are whiskey truffle and salted caramel. So I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it's absolutely delicious. It's from, I think a local um, chocolatier in Nashville that did these for them. More stickers, crazy skates, more Derby Nexus button, which I think that they do a lot. They do like the DVDs and stuff, which is pretty cool because they do on-demand printing. So it's like if somebody orders your DVD, they then print it and ship it like that next day rather than you having to have an inventory of it. So that's sweet. We've got <coughs> Rip Fix. It's all, it says not intended for sissy hands. Winnie's Ripfix.com. I'm assuming it's just like a hand chapstick kind of thing. Might be cool. Winter sucks, so. Okay, that's the basket. Yes, there's nothing else on the basket. So now we'll enter the bags. So here is bag number three, which they handed me separately, which is the tournament bag from this year. Super cool tote bag, like kind of nautical style. Like this is this was for sale at their merch booth. This is a super cool bag. So this is really exciting that they had one of these. So in addition to all of the um, playoff patches, there were stickers as well, I think for most of them from last year. So we've got like the Richmond, Virginia, and this is all stuck together in here because of those things. Kalamazoo, Des Moines, Iowa, Asheville, North Carolina, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I feel like I should have like music on in the background or something because I feel like this is really like, like maybe boring, but you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. But people wanted to know what was in the bag. So I'm like, here, I'm going to show you guys what's in the bag. And then championships, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Awesome. And then I found more of the patches for all of the same places. Here, more patches of wonderful derby ladies. Um, again, patches. I don't know what this is. Oh. Owsley Ouch Salsa, I guess. There's a jar of salsa in here, so that's kind of cool. I hope it's delicious. I don't know anything about it or where it's from. So there was this um, awesome bandana which this is also the 2013 bandana from the championship series. So, oh, sweet. Okay, here are the chocolate bars that I was just mentioning. So super cool that they have the logo like imprinted in them. So you can see, um, oh, looks like one of them may have broken in transport, but they're all flavored too. They had no plain ones. So this one is Mexican hot chocolate got this sad broken one here mm -hmm. toffee here oh this those two were milk chocolate this one is dark chocolate which is really exciting um although it is broken i'm sure it is equally delicious this is orange peels and sea salt i think i can't remember um on the back so you could tell like this one i can kind of see some little like salty bits um it's hard with the lighting but some of them had like giant strips of orange and I was like, whoa, that's kind of weird. I don't know if I, if I want that or not, but maybe. So we've got some, well, I did have some Derby for All decals, I guess. But as you can see, they like stuck to the packaging that they were put in. So I'm like missing some letters. I mean, I have the B and the Y. I don't have an R on the Derby for All there. Minnesota Roller Girls sticker. Roller Derby Elite sticker. More sticker. I, think, I believe this is Juice Brand Wheels. Somebody's business card from Powerhouse Skates. More Minnesota Roller Girls. Bones Bearings. Smith Derby Gear. Which I love my Smith Scabs knee pads. They are the best ever. Um, Nashville Roller Girls. Drink koozie. Sweet. Oh, more patches. Oh, ah, cool. Windy City Rollers patch. Awesome. Nashville Roller Girls patch. Derby for all temporary tattoos. 
More stickers. Sure Grip International. I Heart Crazy Skates. Team USA. So, cool. Because, you know, World Cup coming up in December. So that's going to be awesome. Business cards. Cube bearings. There's still, there's just so much, so much of this. Um, more of this hand stuff that I don't know what it is. They totally also put in a pack of glow bracelets that we totally forgot to take to the after party, which was equally awesome. Um, but I have some for later now. Asphalt Beach Skate Shop in Tennessee. I guess I did not look into that first, or maybe we could have stopped there while we were down there. Oh man, a whole bunch of buttons from 2013 playoffs. Um, all these little ones, like there's one for each of the playoffs. Um, I already have a set of those from last year that I purchased too. But I'm kind of getting into buttons and I'm thinking I want to find some sort of cool something to put them all on that I can carry around. Like a lot of people have like jackets or something or like a bag. I don't really know. Something inked, one of those sponsors. I think this is a coaster with like grippy edges so that it it doesn't slide around but I've, ne I've never had a coaster slide around on me but now I won't at all oh terrifying okay so this is <laughs> cards for this rip fix stuff and the terrifying part is the picture on the back where they're like this is what it's used for when you have big holes in your hands and it apparently helps you in in 10 hours so I guess if I rip big holes in my hands I can fix it <laughs> oh my gosh this is gonna be everywhere forever which is okay memories a third container of rip fix team USA button um, I'm not sure what this button is. I think it's that, like, that company I said that does the DVDs. It just has the X on it. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay, this is our Team USA t-shirt. Really sweet. Um, all, I, I, the couple t-shirts I did look at are all size medium, I think. Um, from what I saw, this one is a ladies medium. We are one Team USA. That's awesome. Um, and the last thing that was in that's in this bag, bag number three, yes, bag number three, um, is a glitter tattoo kit. So that's really exciting because, and it's doubly exciting because it's got an awesome like blue and pink glitter, which are my favorite color combination, like my hair and my anteater unicorn that's up on the shelf back here. So, um, this will be really sweet to kind of try out. And this was from the, there was a, like a screen printer place that was there putting letters and, and numbers on people's backs and stuff. And this is from them. Okay, I think that's really it for this one. Bag number three down. Okay, here is bag number four. It's a kind of a larger tote bag from Roller Bones. Sweet sick skeleton on the front. This is awesome. Okay, and like I said, we really, we just like shoved all of this shit into these like random bags because we're like, how are we going to get it out of here and back to the hotel? We walked, I don't know. So, um, this is a, I am WFTDA, I am Derby. I know they, they are all super formal about it. I prefer to just say WFTA because it's a little quicker and I don't get confused and mix up the letters when I just say it like that, where I'm like, WF. T D A yeah I can think about what it, what order it goes in and say it, um, so sticky stuff. But yeah, so this is like a nice metal water bottle. It's from High Sierra, I guess. Oh, it's got a straw. I guess I should have known that based on the clip on the top. But super cool. This is really nice. Um, I'm guessing this is also from last year because of the skaters on it that match the other ones, but I don't know for sure. It doesn't have a, nut, a year on it. Looks like we've got another t-shirt. This one is a small, so this is going to be someone else's. Um, I don't even know what this is. I don't know who it's by. It's really cute though. Extra cute t-shirt. Um, 
this may be, there were a couple where it says Skate Inc. Yeah, there was, I think they were, some, I don't think they had a booth, but they had some stuff sold at one of the booths. They had like really sweet prints. Um, so I would totally check it out if they, I don't know if they have stuff online. I would assume they probably do Skate Inc. Um, but their prints were really, really cool. And they were like metallic and like, they were really nice. Um, like I totally thought about buying some, but I already bought too many things. So new t-shirt medium what's it say powerhouse oh it's kind of hard to tell here but this is actually like a fluorescent orange um kind of like um there's a word for what i'm looking for heathered it's heathered it's a fluorescent orange heather it's really soft um what's the back say skater of great energy strength and power i cannot read it backwards from my camera so powerhouse skates this is a cool t-shirt i feel like maybe we should keep a t-shirt count too but i'm not i might lose count but we're gonna try so that's two three that's three t-shirts and four bags okay another t-shirt oh a vixens t-shirt so this is um from the team from ottawa can't count Ugh, sorry, Ottawa, Ontario in Canada. Um, the, I th believe it's pronounced Rideau Valley. Um, I was, no, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know that the way that I had pronounced it when I read it to myself was not the same way that the announcers were pronouncing it. So I may have destroyed that, but this is really sweet too, actually. Um, and a large, so it'll actually fit me. So four t-shirts. Oh, awesome. Michigan representing Detroit Derby Girls tank top. This is sweet. Um, I guess tank tops count as t-shirts, so I'm going to go with five. This, holy cow, I did not know this was in here, and this is really, really cool. This is a Crazy Skates reversible jersey in a size medium, which should fit me. Um, a reversible scrimmage jersey, pretty much, I think. So it's got the certified crazy on it, crazy skates on the side. I'm assuming, yes, I turn it inside out and white side and the same logos on it. It feels awesome. I'm super stoked about this. This is going to be like the bomb diggity for practice, I have to say. Um, so technically one jersey on top of the five shirts. So six, six shirts. Uh, uh, uh. Um, there is Bongo Java Roasting Company Mystic Brew Bittersweet Chocolate Smoked Caramel and Toasted Vanilla Bean Coffee. It doesn't actually say coffee, but like, well, I guess it says Java, so I guess that implies, like, obviously it's a bag of coffee. Um, <laughs> it smells nice, even though I don't even like coffee. Um, crazy Skates Bandana. Adorable Kitty Bandana. Okay, another shirt, which, um, this, okay, so when I first got the basket, they, like, told me a couple of the things that were inside of it, and one of them is a men's Team USA uniform, which isn't for sale anywhere, which is something that's super sweet. I don't know what size it is. I don't know anything. I saw what kind of rolled up at some point appeared to be maybe some, like, gym shorts that are part of the uniform, but I, I didn't look at it yet, so I don't know. Um, this is a men's roller derby, Team USA, um, 2014 Men's World Cup Team t-shirt, um, size medium, maybe like a unisex, it's a pretty big medium, so roller derby elite. Um, I don't think this is technically part of the uniform, I think there's an actual uniform top, but this might be. So seven shirts, more bandanas awesome zebra bandana okay I saw these and I thought it was like like it's kind of cool but it's kind of like almost too cheesy so they say I mustache you to talk derby to me and I love puns I really love puns a lot and I'm not sure well I'm not sure this actually qualifies as pun more as like a word play but I'm kind of like on the border about the fact that there are two different word plays happening in the same thing, which kind of just makes it confusing. 
Like if it just said one or the other, it'd be kind of cool. But it's got a giant mustache on it and it's sparkly pink. So it's, it's still pretty cool. Even if I'm like skeptical about the phrase that it says on it. More bandanas. Maybe I should be keeping count of bandanas. I don't know. Um, I, I lost count already. I think like five. Um, cube bearings. Oh, here is the patch for the championship. So this is actually what that button looks like, if you couldn't see that. It's the same thing, but tiny and metal and cute. Um, we've got our patch and our sticker. We've got at least two sets of Windy City Roller Girls We Are Roller Derby 2013 trading cards. So I guess let's open one of these up because this seems like it's something pretty cool. I'm assuming it's got all their skaters on it and maybe some like facts about their skaters. So this could be pretty sweet. Um, yes, I'm only going to like kind of show a couple. Uh, we've got Dinah Party. Same party action, new party color. She's on the Fury. Her number is 24 hours. Uh, you can see the front of the card. She is Second Wind, 2011 to 2012, Hell's Bells, 2010 to 2013, Gotham Girls Roller Derby, 2008 to 2009, I guess, um, from Shermer, Illinois. Her fun fact is that she kayaked through icebergs during an Alaskan earthquake, so that's kind of cool. And then she's got, like, she's sponsored by whatever this is. La I'm not even going to read that because I'm going to mispronounce it. But Mobile Chernobyl. Machete Page. Oh, that's awesome that she is like, well, she's NSOing on this side and appears to be a referee on this side, but that's really cool that, oh, and she, it was sponsored by her friends and family. That's super cute, but I think it's really awesome that they have like officials on the cards too and not just the skaters because everybody is awesome. Um, a few more, just there's a variety of awesome things. I'm not going to go through them all right now, but... These are cool. I don't know if there's different ones. I guess we can check and see if they're like different packs of different skaters. Um, they do appear to be a different set. So cool. I think that you have to get both to have the complete set or maybe more than that. I'm not really sure. Uh, okay. More of those bits hanging around. So we've got some socks. We got panda socks from Sock It To Me. We've got these are really cool. I I I'm at a loss for words. Um, <laughs> I don't know like if they're compression socks or someone could maybe tell me more about these socks because I don't really know. Um, they are from Bont. So that's cool. They got their little kangaroo logo, um, bond skates. But yeah, they seem like they have their little like compression strip here. So these look pretty sweet. So we'll see how, how they wear. There is this pair of like mega headphones. Um, the things are squishy, but they feel kind of cheaply made. But these are from Something Inked as well. Just more of like, hey, look at all of this cool stuff that we know how to make. So I feel like they sh they're supposed to fold, but I'm having difficulty. I guess that's that's how they fold, maybe. I'm not sure. More stickers. More stickers. Okay, so we've got a Fast Girl Skates keychain, which is cool. It's one of the ones that's shaped like a little roller skate that's like die cast aluminum. So little s the wheels spin, which is kind of cute. Oh, and it's a bottle opener. Okay, win here, right? You can, yeah, bottle opener. Okay, so I saw these at a table, but didn't really look closely at them. If I can get the things off of them. Okay, so another bloody shower gel. Sounds pretty awesome, actually. It says, before another bloody boring day at work, another bloody expensive night on the town. Okay, the fact that it keeps saying bloody, I'm like, is this from, like, I'm like, is this, like, British, or I think, is that where people say bloody a lot? I think so. That might just be a stereotype. I don't really know. Um, but then I looked at the site, and it says it's from Illinois, so it's they're just being funny, I guess. Okay. 
or another bloody expensive night on the town, hit those pulsating jets of water and get ready for everything that lies ahead with a generous amount of this gel. Allow his revitalizing ingredients to cleanse your naked body as you contemplate that your bloody exhausting gym sessions could be yielding better results and that your belly button really is a bloody odd shape. Finally, step out of the shower, glance quickly at your watch, and realize you better get a bloody move on. We only want you for your body. So that's pretty, pretty hilarious. Um... I don't know what's it. Like. I'm gonna open it and see like if it smells good. It smells like man soap, actually. Like it smells kind of like Old Spice, which is a nice smell. But I I don't know if I want to smell like Old Spice. But it's it's a nice smell. Okay, so last thing in this bag is a set of wheels. There were so many wheels in this bag. So I'm going to go, the next bag I go through will be the bag that I put all of the wheels in because they were really heavy. Um, but this is a set of Juice Wheels Martini series. Um, I don't really know anything about the Juice Wheels. Um, these ones are 59 millimeter 95A. Um, they obviously have like acrylic hub of some sort. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about these at all. I think there are I think there are a full set of eight of these. I, I will find out in a second in the other box. Um, they're the only ones I've ever seen packaged this way. And I like that they have a little martini glass on them, so maybe that's cool. So I already forgot how many bags I have. Was that five? We're going to count again. One, two, three, four. Four? That was the fourth bag, I guess. Okay, so the fifth bag. This is quite heavy because it's full of wheels mostly um something inked another one of those like backpacks this one actually has kind of like stretchier strap like thicker straps and this is what i carried on my back back to the hotel and it actually worked pretty well um and it was not uncomfortable but okay so we've got in here the box for the s1 helmet because that came kind of separate but i'm gonna pull this stuff out that's over here um there were some cool things here it's all stuck together. They're sticky everywhere. Okay, so another bandana with that thing on it that's camo and orange. Oh. Single, taken, roller derby, applicable to everyone's life. Yes, that's that's how everyone feels, right? I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, there's nothing else. Um, so cool thing, I got a subscription to 5 on 5 magazine. So that's pretty awesome. Um, well, I'll be getting that and get to see all of the awesome stuff firsthand that's in it. Um, there's also a copy of Blood and Thunder magazine, which I've never looked at. But as I flip through it, it looks like it's full of wonderful and awesome things. Um, I don't know what this is. Game Gear Sublimation. 15% off of orders for Game Gear Sublimation. There was another, they had, there was a Game Gear jersey in this bag that was super cool. It's like light blue, like this kind of color, like swirly pattern, a girl's cut jersey with like eyeballs and stuff on the front. Super cool. It was, it was a size, I think it was a size medium maybe, but it was really tiny, too small for me. So that went home with Sparkle. Um, so I cannot show you that, but maybe we'll have her post a picture of it so you guys can see it. It was really, really cool. And I gave it to her under the stipulation that if I ever get really skinny so that I could fit into it, then I want it back because it was really cool. Um, the, my only problem is with the sublimated, like I really don't like the sublimated jerseys too much because they don't breathe the polyester and then you get really sweaty really fast and I don't so much like that. Um, there is an S1 Helmets guide. I don't know if this maybe was in the box at some point, but this is cool because here's the other helmet that I have. Um, and like testing of different kinds of helmets. So this has probably got some cool information in it. Okay. So, so I can get this bag open. Oh wow, there was a bunch more stuff in the bottom of that bag. So we're going to find all that stuff. Oh, there's even like, okay, so this one, not only is it like one of these bags, it's got, I don't know if you can see, but there's like this cool zipper pocket on the side that like goes all the way across it. So you can keep your stuff separate. Okay, so this is, we're going to see what we got. Okay. Shut up and skate cupcake. Cupcakes are cool. Stickers. Okay, I'm really excited about this sticker that I just found. Whip it good. Holy cow. 
Devo, stars, whipping, doing derby things. This is really, really cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I would really think about putting this on a helmet, even though I'm not one for stickering helmets. Um, it is a little large, so it would have to be a very careful application because I would be really upset if it was wrinkly. But this is really cool. I'm really excited about that. Okay, my derby mom can beat up your soccer mom. This is a good bumper sticker. Um, I'm, like, a little confused about, like, derby mom because, like, I mean, do you give this to, like, your teenage children that are driving? Or I guess, like, there are some ladies that have older children because there's all ages of wonderful women in roller derby. But, like, this is not I, – I feel like your kid would have this and not you on your own car unless, like, is there a derby mom that's, like, a derby wife? I'm, I don't know. Maybe that's a thing in leagues that didn't form themselves with no derby experience. I'm not really sure. Um, but that's – it's cute. Um, okay. Ask me about local roller derby. This is really cool. This will go somewhere. Um, it's black, and so I don't know if I want to put it on my car, because my car is black, and then you won't really, like, see the edges. Or maybe that's better, because then it'll just, like, say it on my car in white. Um, but this is, but who's going to, like, see me at my car, like, as I'm, like, loading groceries into the car, and they're going to be like, oh, I saw your bumper sticker. Um, I, I feel like that's not applicable. I feel like I need to, like, sew it on to my chest or something. I don't, I don't know. So I saw this at this something ink thing. It's like a USB charger for like whatever you could possibly need. There's like all of the different phones and and USB devices like all in one little connect do. So this is really kind of neat. The question is going to be like can, could you theoretically plug in all of these things at once and would it charge? Feel like you're not going to get enough power through USB to do that, but I don't, I don't really know for sure. Uh, another can koozie from Bont Skates. You guys, this is endless. I feel like this is endless. Another business card. More Derby for All? Are these the same Derby for All? I think maybe they are, and I just put them on the floor where I accidentally spilled everything else. Um, okay, I think that was, oh, no, one more. Okay. I was like, I, was, I think that's officially everything that I dropped, but it wasn't. Another something inked can opener, bottle opener, keychain. Um, it's like a soft kind of plastic, which makes me feel like I could like pop out the, the metal piece. So if there was a particularly difficult can or bottle, it's a bottle opener, maybe it would break it, but I don't know. Okay, so I, whoa! Okay, so the bottom of the box just opened up and everything fell everywhere because I put all of the the wheels in this helmet box that just came open. So, um, okay, here is the second set of the juice wheels. This is also 95A, I believe. So yes, full set of the same wheels of eight of them here. Next up is two packages, full set of, these are radar flyers. Um, they're really soft. I'm assuming this is an outdoor wheel. It does not say the durometer on them. I don't know off the top of my head. The only outdoor wheels I have tried are the Radar Pures, um, which I have liked, but these feel like even softer. Like I feel like I can just squish these with my hand easily, um, but they're pretty cute. So these might be good, especially for like yuckier paths and stuff that we could potentially skate on. Um, so that's cool. There's a full set of those. Um, next up, full set of the Roller Bones Day of the Dead. Um, these are 62 millimeter 94A, which um, I'll be excited to try these out because I have not tried these ones at all. And a 94A is reasonably appropriate for me, um, for my weight and usefulness. <laughs> I had the 93A bullets and I liked those a lot. So I feel like <laughs> this will be something similar, um, but we'll see. I, I know a lot of people skate on them, so I'm assuming they're pretty cool. And the other sets of wheels, I have two sets, not two full sets. There's only four of each of these, of the Atom Booms, which, holy cow, I bought the Booms, like, uh, last year, six months ago. I don't know, like a while back, and 
I love them. I love them, love them, love them. I bought the smallest and hardest ones that they had available at the time, which at, I saw at the booth up there, there's like a whole bunch of like new booms that I don't know anything about and we didn't think to ask. Um, but I will be doing some research on those to see what they are and to see if there's like other options available. Also, my beautiful derby wife shirt that Sparkle and I got from one of the booths that's got its awesome like stained glass looking art on it. I don't know who the artist is, but I know I've seen it all over Facebook many times. Um, this we just bought because we're awesome. Um, so the two sets of booms are the 62 millimeter extra firm and the 62 millimeter firm. So the ones I have are the extra firm, so I have not tried these ones. It'll be cool to see maybe what the difference is, even though it's only half a set, so I'll only kind of be able to test it without buying some more of them. Okay, more bits that go with the helmet. Okay, other awesome things. So we've got full set of Bones Reds bearings, super cool. And then a full set of Roller Bones bearings. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure she said this is a $150 set of bearings. So that's pretty awesome because I would never on my own purchase a set of $150 bearings. I'm like, I like my $25 set of bearings. Um, so these will probably be amazing, but I will not be using them until I can not skate somewhere where there's a really dirty, gross floor, like the roller rink that I've kind of periodically been going to since I moved. Um, and yeah, it's like filthy, dirty floor. I'm like, I do not, I don't want to ruin the pristine beauty of these really expensive, probably totally awesome bearings. So awesome Windy City Rollers flask. Um, it's a little shorter than a standard flask, but it's like, that's okay. You don't always need to get hammered drunk, I guess. Um, that's, you can never have enough flasks done. You can just get many small flasks and then that counts, right? Uh, we've got this, uh, skate tool, which I don't know what kind it is. I know other people who have this or something similar. There's this thing that's got like a screwdriver and I don't know if this is used for bearings or something. I don't really know. I don't have this one. I have a Powerdyne one that I really love, so I don't know. But there's this thing. There was randomly a beer in there from some local Nashville brewery of some sort. Um, but I, th I was like, they didn't ask me if I was 21. They could have given this beer to anybody. Um, so that was kind of funny. Um, I don't really drink beer, so I'm not sure if I will actually attempt to drink it or if I'll give it to somebody else to try who might fully be able to appreciate maybe the wonders of it. I don't know. I don't know anything about this brewery. There are more S1 stickers. Okay. I think I just have one more bag, which may or may not have more bags inside. Um, this bag is a Windy City Rollers tote, which is awesome, too. Um, I love their logo. I'm really excited. And their team. They're really cool. Um, but so there's that. Oh, there's another. So this one is the Roller Derby men's t-shirt. It's the same as the white one, but the I, it's navy blue, not black. Um, and I lost count of the shirts already because I got so distracted with all the other things. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, ooh, avalanche. Um, okay, so eight. If you eight with the reversible scrimmage jersey. Okay. So number nine, Derby for All purple T-shirt. Cool. Number 10, 10 shirts. Oh, this is really also awesome. It's really hard to see this print in here, but I saw these were like the same shirts that the medics had on, except the back said like medic on it. And I was like, wow, those shirts are so cool. Um, and it's the Nashville International logo. And it's like, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's, it's not really pink. It's just like a lighter red, super cool. Um, that's really exciting. Uh, it is a size large, but it's kind of a small unisex large, it looks like, because I don't think it's a women's cut. I'm not really sure. Um, but that's super cool. That was number 10, I believe. Oh, okay. So here is the Team USA, like, basketball 
roller derby shorts. I guess they're roller derby shorts because that's what they're used for. Um, this is an adult small, a guy small, so it would actually fit me. Um, this is really cool that like I have this thing that no one can buy and that the men's roller derby USA team is wearing. That's cool. Okay, cup. It's acrylic. It's a cup. That was 11. No, that's shorts. That's not a shirt. There is another bandana. This is going to be the Texas Roller Girls logo. Um, that's cool. It's just black with that one little print on it. It doesn't say Texas, but you know this is Texas. Come on. Oh, this is a blue shirt that I like the style of. Oh, it's the Nashville Roller Girls. So this is like the new rage kind of tank top that everybody had. It's got just like surged edges. Um, and it's like a really thin like racer back style. This is the same style that I, I purchased a London Roller Girls tank that's like Heather Dark Gray that is like the same style as this one. Um, so this is a pretty cool thing. I like the color of this a lot. And the Nashville girls that I met were really cool. Um, Adam, Crazy Skates. What is this? This is 11. That was 11. Okay, another shirt that says, oh, it's love. And it's got Philly Roller Girls t-shirt. That's cool. I saw there was a nice one for New York that was like, this was like a skate instead of a heart. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. Because that was a New York thing. The love thing. I'm pretty sure that's in New York. I don't really know. Um, another tank top. This is pretty cute. I think there's like flamingos on it. I don't know what this is. Oh, Berlin bombshells in Florida. What? Did they play in Florida? I don't really know much about the Berlin bombshells. Other than they did good this year. That was really exciting to see them win the game that they won. I believe they won the third place game. Um, but yeah, this is this is really really cool tank top. It's like I love Florida and flamingos and palm trees and skates and things neon green oh cool is that 12 12 shirts more adam stickers this is soft strong athletic woman this is from smarty pants um get smarty coaching i think that she has like a full business that she runs doing coaching and stuff um this is really awesome yeah it's soft and wonderful i've lost count again I'm not going to recount. We're just going to keep going. Is that 13? I don't know. Um, what does this even say? Derby Crush from Roller Derby Icon Athletics. I don't know what this is, but it's a cute purple t-shirt. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is exciting. That same tank top that everybody has, but for the Texas Roller Girls. Super cute. Um, totally awesome. Really exciting. This is an awesome, they're really, really cute tank top. I wear tank tops every single day under everything or over everything that I'm wearing constantly because tank tops are amazing. Um, that's cool. Oh, this one has a big D on it. Oh, it's an iron doll. Awesome. Okay, so this is just an iron doll tank. Um, it's pretty thin, but it's cute. Oh, it's an I and a D at the same time. Huh, I'm smart. Okay. That makes sense. This is an Iron Doll Flowy Racerback Tank worth $24, so says the tag. Um, flowy, flowy Jersey Racerback with A-Line Body. Cool. There's still more. Not a lot more, but still more. Um, okay, we've got ooh, this thing. Windy City Rollers. I think this is a unisex t-shirt. This one is a little bigger than all the other ones. That's cool. More socks. Oh, these are more of those Bont socks in a different color scheme. Blue and green. Is that it? That may be the end of it. Okay, I think that's it. Unless I lost a bag somewhere between Nashville and Kalamazoo and my house and what is now back up in Hancock with Becca. Um, I think that this is everything because this is a whole lot of stuff. I've been talking for 50 minutes already. 
about all of this amazing stuff that happened like wow like even though i have all of these things here i'm still like no i didn't i didn't win that how that couldn't possibly happen how did that happen i don't know but yeah super sweet okay so now that there is glitters all over my living room um i'm gonna do a final count of these t-shirts so that because i don't because i don't remember the number so we've got one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. These are shorts. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There were eighteen shirts in this basket. There's so many things here. I'm like, what do I do with all these things? I don't even know what to do with all these things. We left, we came back with twice as much stuff as we went down there with. And we packed a lot of stuff when we went down. Um, yeah, so I guess if anybody wants to, like, know more about what happened at Nationals or the stuff that I won or, I don't know, I guess you can ask me. I feel like people are going to be like, making bids on things like in the comments on this video but I don't really know and that's not necessarily gonna work but maybe maybe okay bye guys